Hello my friends, I am Chihondo, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Guild of Dungeoneering. In the last episode, we finished off the last of the Grassland by defeating the scary scary Black Knight and the very very scary Lich. So today we will be heading out and we will be starting... Oh, I am incorrect. I thought that was the last one for the Grasslands. Whoops. Okay. I guess we have one more out here. Never mind. I guess I, uh, I'll have to go back and edit that description in the previous video. Now I feel quite silly. Anyway, we are apparently going to play in the Ocular Rift with the Nosy Eye. So for those of us who play D&D &D or old D&D &D people, you'll recognize immediately that means a Beholder. As you can see. <clears throat> anyway. Yes, let's uh, move along here. <laughs> Anyway, so basically this is another one of just get to a certain square one. And again, there's nothing there to lure the character there. But there's also no time limit on this one. So I can just mill around however much I like. Having said that, this is a level 5 attractor, this sapphire ring. So pretty much any time, the moment I connect anything that gets a path there, the ranger is going to want to go straight for it. So that's something to keep in mind. In the meantime, though, let's go fight this, uh, what is that? Oh, it's a Grey Ooze. No problemo. And let's just give myself some more cash, and you know what? Let's actually fight a spider, and then that. We'll fight, we'll beat both of them up. Sounds like a plan. Uh, I have modified my, uh, audio settings, so hopefully the sound in-game in the recording is okay. It still sounds awfully loud to me, but we'll have to wait and see how it is once it uploads to YouTube, so... We shall see. Anyway, I uh, cannot block that, so I guess I'll just punish it. <clears throat> Can't block that either. Okay. It's going to block mine, but at least now I can finally block something and finally start juicing up for a later attack. That's so lame, but I'm going to do it anyway. That guarantees my next attack will kill it between that two and that frail. Any physical attack will be a kill. Uh, bandana, yes. Now I just should be checking. Okay, that's the blindness. That's a terrible one. Decay is bad. Stupidity. So I think I really do want to come in from this side. I consider that the least of the bad, um, the bad fountains here. Conceals the worst one. Stupidity, while very annoying, is a lot easier to deal with. So uh, after we fight that, let's fight a bat and let's give ourselves some more money just because we can. All right. That seems like an excellent thing to not deal with. Uh, okay. Slap them around a bit. Well, it has mundane, which means it does not like to be hit by magic, so let's hit it with magic. And it's now down to one, so a simple wooden arrow for the win. Alright, so the ruffled shirt is good. That gives Swift. The Hand Axe isn't bad either, giving Crush and Blade. I think I'm going Ruffled Shirt. I think I'm really going to push for Swift on this bit, if I can. Obviously, it depends on what I actually find, but you know, I really do like Swift with the Ranger. Uh, that looks like it could connect perfectly. Alright, so we'll beat up that Bat, and then a Grey Ooze, and then we'll try our hand at a Bear Owl. If I can't beat the Bear Owl, I'm definitely not going to be able to beat that Minotaur, or whatever that was there, I didn't get a good look at it, with stupidity, so. Alright, you're unblockable, so let's just draw a card, make myself feel better. And let's block that, because that's unpleasant. And let's go ahead and get the kill. Okay, I already have a bandana, which means I don't want the soldier's helmet, so I guess I'll take an arcane wand better than nothing. Uh, 
Hello, Glothnor. Yes. That is a Minotaur, right? Yeah, that's going to be rough with stupidity, but... Oh well, off we go. First, let's beat up another defenseless ooze. Just because we can. I can't do anything about that, but I can at least give myself a card to feel better. Okay. I'll draw another card then. Okay, so we will block what you're doing and slap your hands on. And get the kill. Easy. But now we start getting into the tough fights. Well, I already am a ranger, so I don't need the spyglass. I already have an arcane wand. And I don't... I'm already going to have stupidity 2. This will mean I'll have stupidity 3 for the next fight. Ugh. Now, I think I'm going to say no. Make sure I have something after he goes to this ring to lure him into the square that we have to actually get to. So, if I can survive these next two fights, then we're good. And if not, well then, I guess uh, either the Cat Burglar or the Bruiser is going to get a try. But we'll see what we can do. That's not nice. Let's draw a card. I really don't want to waste a repel on that, but I also really don't want to throw a card away. So. Okay, let's try another card. A major card advantage. That's unblockable. So that's fine. We can have that. I'll bring him down to two. We'll be in fury mode, but it shouldn't matter. Because this will be two damage. And it's quick. Alright, scale mail is not bad. Broken bottle is also not bad. Sword is really good though. I'm gonna go sword. The broken bottle was a close second, but it's okay. Uh no, you're just gonna go here to here. There's really no point in doing anything else here. I mean, I could theoretically try and come back and around and get that fountain, but it's okay. Alright, let's get a card. Uh, that seems like something worth repelling. So does that, but I don't have another one, so... I guess instead we just smash them, and the K will thump them once. Now I gotta be careful. You do fury mode. However, I have to take him down in this shot. It doesn't matter. There we go. Uh, it actually doesn't matter what I take because this is the end of the, this mission anyway. So we'll just take that heater shield. That'll do. Great. Done. There you go. So that's the first section done. Hard-headed is what of a bonus hit point in the cost of a starting hand size. Eh, that's not too bad. I've certainly seen worse. And I do have enough now that I could add a, another layer of equipment or start working towards unlocking. Oh, I actually wouldn't even be able to get these because I haven't done the lower ones here. Yikes. Okay. Well, that tells me I'm definitely going to the equipment side then. That's my doom plate. That's my choice. Right off the bat. Alright. So doom plate will now be an option. That is fantastic. Alright. Staring match with a beholder. Here's a hint. That's not a good idea. <laughs> uh, for those who aren't from the D&D scene or I've long since forgotten. Um, this picture of the Beholder is itself not too bad. Basically it's a gigantic blob with an enormous eye in the middle and a whole pile of eye stalks all around it. 
Um, the big guy does all sorts of super nasty things to you, usually involving disintegration or instant death or what have you, and all the other eye stalks just blast you with magic attacks and such. It's really a bad, terrible creature to deal with. So, generally you want to run away from it. But anyway, let's just plunk a corridor down here somewhere and fight... Oh, uh, we'll do the spider. That'll do. So this is one where if I don't get to that spot, I just lose. Out and out petrified. So I have to get to the Beholder in those eight turns. So I am a little bit at the mercy of the card generator. But we'll try to see how we do. That is very unfortunate. Between the hard mode and that, I'm already down to single card mode. And I don't like that one bit. Oh well. Well, at least I'll get some damage in here, even though it blocked some of it. Okay, there's the wind. Not too bad. Well, you're already a ranger, so I don't need that. The arcane wand is good. Barrel is terrible. Oh, ruffled shirt's good too. Let's go ruffled shirt. Excellent. That'll do. That gives me access to that, and if I'm lucky, a good fountain. Crap. Oh well, that's okay. I will fight a bat on the way. Okay, so far so good. Unblockable. We'll finish it. Right, so fire and arcane, or just a couple of crushes. Oh, growth. Growth's not bad either. The extra hit points are good, but I think I'm going magic attacks. Well, we can fight a ghost for that chest. And one, two, three, four. Okay, if I can find a way to lure him over here, I'd really prefer to fight something crappy like this bat after that fountain than the actual beholder. So we'll see if I can find something to make that happen or not. That's not very nice at all. Neither is that, for that matter. Alright, we can back up to three cards. Or at least theoretically. Now let's put them back into tenacious mode. Which means that all things being equal, a wooden arrow will do it. Scimitar is good for blade. Crossbow is excellent for swift. Let's go swift. And a level 3 chest. Horned Helm. Fury and blade. Fury and fire too. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking the ignite spell will be very helpful. Yeah, so far I have nothing that's going to lure lure him over. Alright, let's beat up a bear owl just so I feel better. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Good. Let's not throw a card away. Let's set this thing on fire. It's in fury mode now. And that should do it. Okay. Well, that seems like a simple one. Or so does that, for that matter. Feathered cap it is. And I still didn't get any kind of yellow card. 
to go over here. So I will have to fight the Beholder with stupidity. But at least it does have Frail, so that's a bit helpful. Ouch. Okay. for hit points. Okay, let's reduce that and queue up some damage. Okay, so I can take that if I do one of these with that frailty. That should be it. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Uh, that's bad. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, we're going to get a free fountain, which is basically like the, um, the blessing for head points, just all the time, without actually taking that blessing, so that's awesome. And then we're actually now going to be into the jungle. Okay, excellent, and a ton of cash. Excellent. All right, we'll go ahead and plunk the fountain down up here, to the spot as any, and we'll go and admire our little uh, jar of eyeballs from the Eye Beast, and that is the Nosy Eye mission complete. Uh, in terms of spending all this cash, um, oops, sorry, pressed the wrong button. Well, I'll leave this up so you guys can read it. <clears throat> It's very naughty at the end, but anyway. <laughs> uh, so I'm about to click off. If you aren't finished reading, just pause the video for a minute and finish reading. And there we go. There's all the, the jungle opened up. And you are allowed at any point to go back and redo some of the older stuff if you feel like it. Um, the button I had meant to click on was expand, not explore. Uh, in terms of spending all this cash, not really sure what to do with it. Probably just end up upgrading some more equipment. Um, we're doing okay with the Ranger. I don't, so I don't think I actually need to unlock any of these other classes. And I'm, although I might actually just do this. It, the, the improved um, blessing. That actually seems like a really good thing to do. Now that means that you'll get an extra loop slot every fight instead of just the first two. And which of these to take? Uh, Swift 2 is good. Arcane and hit points. Arcane and armor. It's got stupidity, otherwise it's really good. Arcane and wise. Okay, so the fine all is not a bad choice. How about the chisel? Well, that's got the mighty cavalier hat. Swift and blade. Let's see chart. Ooh, there's something that gives spiky. That's good. Wise. There's a second chance at ranged. So outside of the um, offhand spyglass, even there's now a weapon that can do it. Although it also gives you decay, which really sucks. But anyway. Stupidity but tenacious for a level 1 item. Yikes. Uh, the other option, of course, being the weird and wonderful stuff. That's got the awesome demon claw. A level 1 item with blade 2. The parrot that gives spiky, the owl familiar that gives wise. Another spiky from the crown. I think I'm taking the weird and wonderful. There we go. So that will do it, folks. So at this point, I'm going to call that an episode. So until next time, stay calm, and I hope to come and chill with me again in the next video. Thanks for watching.